everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, today I have a study day from uni. So I'm gonna study, but as in I've flipped it so that I can study not in the hours of the studying. So basically not studying in the morning. Um, because I have so many errands to run. And if any of you guys go to school or uni, like full time like me, then you'll know that like doing your daily stuff is like mission impossible when you have school or uni like monday to friday nine to five so a rare day off means like trying to get everything done like in one day so first thing i did this morning i like forced myself to get up and i went and got my eyebrows done they're kind of filled in now so you can't see but that was like number one on my priority list then at 12 o'clock I have an optician's appointment because recently I feel like when I read things like one of my eyes is reading it and the other one isn't like they both can't focus at the same distance I don't know if that's normal clearly I don't think it's normal because if I did I wouldn't be going opticians but I think I might need glasses so we'll see in this vlog if I need glasses or not then at two o'clock I have a training session with my trainer Andy. I haven't been able to train with him for a month because my previous placement was so time consuming, um, the neurology one, that I literally wouldn't even get like my Wednesday afternoons to myself to be able to go um, to the gym like during the week, which is the day that I usually see my trainer in the weekdays. And so I'm going to see him at two o'clock and then at four I'm getting a wax. So I haven't really planned the evening for certain yet so oh my god when i sit like that it's so terrible so yeah just come along with me enjoy the day and yeah we're gonna be going to opticians and i'm dressed for the gym straight after so i'm now in brent cross and everyone's staring at me as per usual because vlogging in public is still not a norm um i'm going to get my eyes checked at boots So I'm like halfway through my eye test and my eyes hurt already. I'm just waiting to see the optometrist. They did that thing where they like puff air in your eye. It's so uncomfortable. So I just finished my eye test and turns out I don't need glasses. Yay! So the reason why I'd been feeling like I can read at like different lengths is because like they naturally sit like when they're relaxed they, they need to like work to like focus. So I don't know, that's how she explained it. So basically, my eyes need to work, but glasses wouldn't help that. So, we're all good. So, I just got to the car park of the gym. I'm gonna admit something to you guys right now, because I feel kind of guilty about it but not guilty enough the weather's really cold and half the car park is empty so i parked in a parent and child bay that's closer to the to the entrance so if i've told you guys then i guess i feel less guilty and like this is a four by four so it looks like i've got a child and technically i could come out of there you know dropping off a friend who has a child even though i don't have any friends who have kids in this gym so, you know, make new friends. I don't know. I'm coming up with bullshit excuses, but I feel less guilty than I've told you guys. So, if any of you guys have me on my snap story, you know that I basically try and fit my puffer jacket into a safety deposit box. So, and now I look like I'm talking to a safety deposit box. Say hi. Tell them how much you've missed me. So much. I miss you. My fitness has gone so downhill. I haven't been gym in like almost two weeks. But Andy's here. He's going to New York next We're week. We're ready. We're ready. You're not allowed to go away. I'm never allowed to go away. My clients hate it. <laughs> yeah. He's not allowed to go away. But it's alright. I'll give him a week off. Thank you. <laughs> so, what are we training? Legs? Yeah. Start off with squats, people. Sep's going to go into a nice little... Uh, 10 rep warm up, shoulders up. You ready? Okay, what we're gonna 
do. Kill. Yep, basically. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a prowler push, two rounds, 60 kilos on the prowler. Okay, and go. So I thought it would be fun in this vlog to show you guys what I eat like in a day. Um, obviously no one eats the same thing every day. So you guys are just going to see what I'm eating today. I'm going to the gym. So yeah, I'm just going to have a coffee and I'm going to make my breakfast. My breakfast this morning, I always have porridge. And if you guys watch any of my vlogs, you know... Oh, why is it in this bag? If you guys have watched my first ever vlog or if you have watched my um, healthy what I eat in a day vlog, I did that like a year ago, which was like what I eat when I'm in uni and I'm always going out, not like an eating at home vlog. You'll see that I, I always have porridge for breakfast in winter or eggs. Mum, what do I have for breakfast? Uh, always porridge and eggs and sometimes omelette with cherry tomato. Yeah, I had that yesterday. Or I have... Um, Mum, I can't think. I cooked thing. <laughs> so irrelevant to what I'm saying. So um, I was watching this really healthy like recipe on YouTube for porridge, and now I feel inspired to not just pour hot water onto for this, but to actually mix in some other stuff. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll show you. So we have a banana chia seeds so my mum got this from Iran because like her friend told her all about chia seeds and how good they are for you so she always buys them from Iran <laughs> because oh, oats are simple golden syrup flavor um porridge oats um sun pack crunchy peanut butter and this organic hemp powder protein yeah it's still in date I basically never use it because it tastes crap but we're gonna try it today and then ow that's some sur and the hot water So this is the finished product and I'll show you guys my taste test in a sec. Um, you guys can probably add more fruit to this but I have something called oral, oral allergy syndrome so I'm allergic to um, a lot of fruits and I find people, some people find it weird when I say this, some people can relate so let me know if you think it's weird or if you can relate but um, so I'm very like atopic so it means I'm like highly allergic. So I have asthma, hay fever, eczema, and I also have something called oral allergy syndrome. So I'm allergic to 
um, raw some raw fruits, so apples, pears, strawberries, cherries, peaches, like all the nice stuff, nectarines. So um, yeah, I would usually add more fruit um, if I wasn't allergic, but obviously I am. I can have all these fruits when they're cooked, but I can't bother to boil the fruit to add it to this. So yeah, let me try it. Mmm. Whoops, huh? <laughs> Tastes good. My grandma is saying I'm eating old people's food. <laughs> Bearing in mind, like, this is my grandma saying this. She's like, why are you eating mush food? You're so mean, Mama John. This tastes good. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym, as you can tell from the crazy hair. I've just realized that tomorrow is the start of Vlogmas. Now I've always wanted to, like, since I've really started taking vlogging seriously, I've always wanted to film Vlogmas. So turns out that if I want to film it, this is going to have to be my first vlog for Vlogmas, which is stupid because there's nothing Christmassy in it, but I don't... Let me Google, like, does Vlogmas need to be Christmassy? What is Vlogmas? Okay, so day one of Vlogmas is not going to be Christmassy for you guys. Um, unless I get Sol. Sol's arriving tonight. I'm going to get her to come and do some Christmassy things for you guys. I'm going to make her do a Christmas dance. But yeah, my day one of Vlogmas is going to be what I ate and fitness. I'm sorry guys, like forgive me. It's not going to be that Christmassy. But um, in the spirit of Christmas, I will tell you guys my absolute favourite things to do in London during Christmas. So number one is go to Winter Wonderland, which I'm doing on Sunday. Um, number two, oh my god, number two is to go ice skating. Um, what else do I love doing in wintertime? Christmas shopping. I love for putting up lights. Um, we put the lights on on our house, I think, in the next four or five days, and it's crazy. We have lights all outside and all inside, and then we have our tree. Um, we always get a fresh tree and yeah those are the crazy stuff that I love doing not crazy at all in London during Christmas so you've got all that fun stuff to look forward to but this is basically a very normal start to vlogmas so I forgot that I was filming what I'm eating which is clever but um, I just had like a whole tin of this this is just sweet corn basically so this is a Persian stew called Rehme and I, like I told you guys, if you guys have ever watched the video of how I lost weight, I split my plate like in thirds. This is obviously a bowl, so it's smaller than a plate. So I have half stew, half rice. So that's like my protein-ish and that's my carb side. And then this is my salad. This is salad Shirazi. It's just tomatoes, cucumber lettuce mixed with, um, for dressing, salt, pepper, olive oil and some lemon juice. And this is lamb cooked with lentils in like a tomato-y sauce. And this is just plain Persian rice. So, so far today I've already finished one of these. I'm just going to fill it up again and I'm going to continue eating with this. Sometimes I have my dinner with Diet Coke. But right now we don't have any. My mum tries to not buy it so that I don't drink it. Um, yep. Yeah. She does that. So I'm just going to pour water in my water bottle and have that. So, um, a week ago, if you watched the vlog that I uploaded today, you said you're going to go on a diet. So I'm going to go on a diet. Yeah, and you said next Friday. So it's Friday, so show everyone. The oh, bollocks. <laughs> but you've lost weight. No, how? You By have. eating. You look really good. Okay, so I promise everyone a Christmas song and dance because this is Vlogmas number one. So, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Okay, we're gonna do Iranian version. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle I feel bells, like be doing this with jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey, jingle bells. The, monkey, the show monkey in your vlogs for. <laughs> open the hair, open the hair, flick the hair, flick the hair. Oh, all I want for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> all I want for Christmas is. Ooh, jingle bell, jingle bell. 
I'm grateful for the entertainment we have here. I want to get ready so we can go out, Sol. I look a mess. Sol, you need to show the vlog outfit. Go back. You look so stunning. Thank you. <gasps> Do a full, full turn. So pretty. Okay, talk us through your outfit. So your jacket is from Zara. Your top is from H&M. Your jeans are from... My own cover! <laughs> Where from though? Zara. You chose it last week. And your heels are red bottoms, baby. Are they fresh? Uh, fresh I think I've worn them once before. We're getting new ones tomorrow, aren't we? Yes. So... It's not Christmas, Salt. It's like November still. I thought you were doing some Christmassy song fair. No, we're doing Vlogmas. Oh, you're doing the Christmas dance. What yeah. was my song? What was my song? Christmas. No, what was my song? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Where have I got this song from? It must be famous. It must be some viral video. Jingle bell. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna play some tunes. I'm gonna play some Let's tunes. Go. You're such a lovely girl. I love it. You're such a lovely lady. I love it. This for my cousin. Back to the like, if I could not be me and be someone else, I'd be a Persian rude boy. Oh yes, I know who I would be from North London. Okay, you know. Down. I know who you'd be. Um, no, I'd be, a, I'd be a Persian rude boy, for sure. Cause like, you guys are life. You are life, Persian. Because you're polite. You're polite? But you're, you're rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're bad polite. polite. I love you. And you're sexy as well. I don't know which one you're thinking about, but. No, 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 I, he's my friend. I don't look at him like that. Don't hit that cone. Um, I think Persian rude boys are sexy. They are life. So I was feeling it too. Yeah, um, we love you. Yeah, if I could be someone, I'd, I'd like, I'd have like, I'd have so many girls after me, but I'd only pick one and stay in loyal. In one to mile, that. turn and right onto North Circular well. Road. Persian rude boys are loyal. Persian rude boys are loyal. Now yeah. hit me up, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> if you like me, oh seven nine me. If you like me, oh seven nine me. Wait, should I pick oh seven nine? Yeah. I'm seeing the look in your eyes, girl. You know that you're done for. Done for, done for, cause we both know the answer. So see, can you pick up on your WhatsApp? I did, you know, last week. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Girl, I know you from somewhere, maybe. Really, I'm lying, girl, you know, I just want I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, some guy has used that line on me before. He's like, I, know <laughs> I was just thinking about I know you're it. From somewhere. Peaky like. But as in, he actually knew me, so that doesn't count. I've never had a guy fake he didn't know, know me. you. Who are you on about? Icky. Whose name wasn't Icky, but we called him Icky. Who are you oh, yeah, about? Icky! Yes. Okay. Which way am I going, sir? So we met this guy at Shisha, but he was sitting with two of our friends. He was like, yeah, I know you. I fully know you. So then I was like confused. And I was like, I feel like I know you too. Like, you're confusing me. Do we know each other? Turns out he was just lying. And I nicknamed him Icky. You're right. Oh, Tell them what vlog one one. Tell them. Basically, Nico recommended a place. Yeah. And we've come. And it's pretty nice. It's like a conservatory. It's nice. But we're sitting in the corner. Like, there's music coming from somewhere. But I don't know where the music is coming from. I actually don't mind the place. I like. I like it. It looks pretty. I'd rather just see what I'm missing out on. Because now I'm missing out on anything. What if the other side is like, got like music? Don't you remember the other place we used to go to? This is how 
much I ate and I had two and a half of these and they're quarters so I think that translates to like three like two thirds of a laffa so the guy who works here clearly doesn't know that I'm trying to eat healthy have I said where we are? we're at Beethoven Day 2 <laughs> I should have said the screen oh right across the screen at the why start. do I always look like the front camera is on I like, mm. He clearly doesn't know that we're trying to eat healthy because he's so sweet he just bought us a cake there. It's really nice. I think it's that Turkish dessert that's melted. I don't know what it is. No, I, I want to be good. We're going to have to play with it. You, all right, you, try, you were going to try it anyway. <laughs> Don't act like you are. So to try this. It's beautiful. I tried it. I don't even know what it is. It's like rose water, baklava meets American cheesecake. If they were to have a love child, this is what it would be. I don't even think I could ever sell it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Baba Khaili Khobe. Baba Khaili Khobe. Calm down. Oh my god, Baba, you're keen to be about it. We would like to end the vlog here um, and tomorrow will be day two of vlogmas we'll see what we get up to but i know i'm going out in the evening with my friend annabelle so that should be fun and i want to go out with annabelle she seems fun you can come no not tomorrow hmm. but thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right well we will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>